Alright, so you're welcome back to another exciting family week in Ghana. Today's our first time seeing you on this channel. My name is Charles Enchi. I'm a tax consultant and I'm passionate about family. So here on my channel, I talk about family in Ghana. Uh, from the previous video, we are here to look at the catfish itself. We are here with Mr. Emmanuel to look at the, his entire setup, his entire catfish business. So he educates us on how best we can also probably get involved in it. To motivate us to also at least yeah, start some catfish or start something on our own. So yeah, Mr. Emmanuel. Um, as we are have tanks here and stuff, if you can start with us, what you do or which kind of setup this is, well, probably something to educate us. Because I see some failed tests and stuff also around, so yeah, if you can educate us on it. Okay, so um, this uh, a ten by twelve feet uh, tarpaulin uh, tank okay. um, with about uh, 400 uh, fishes uh, in it. Um, it can actually take more than 400, but uh, what, what we do is that we don't want to always stock it in such a way that they wouldn't have uh, enough space. Space is very important when it comes to uh, their growth um, and also to, to, to take care of uh, diseases and all that. So, so just to make sure that we have a very good system, a comfortable one, for that matter, for them, uh, we only stock uh, 400 wow. in this particular uh, pond. So, so at least you can see there's enough space uh, for, for them to, to swim all over the place. Yeah. So, like, how many months old are these ones? Well, this this ones are about uh, three. Um, and actually, this these are the smallest uh, ones that that we have. Um, after we did sorting, uh, we did sorting into our three different groups, and this these are the smallest of uh, what 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 came out of that uh, batch. Yeah, like when when you mean smallest, trust me, this is the smallest because <laughs> the bigger ones I've seen there. So from here, probably we'll go there and also show you guys what he's talking about. So initially in the first video, we were talking about uh, you trying to always sort them on a regular. Yeah. Can you tell us the importance of the sorting? Why you do that? Um, we we do certain uh, so at least you can have uh, how do you call it you can have fishes of the same size in the same pond. Uh, the reason is that if you should mix them up, if you should have some very huge, some very small, uh, because they are very carnivorous, uh, uh, they will actually feed on each other. The big ones who you see them swallowing or even pulling the smaller Small. ones. Okay. So you end up with uneven growth. You see some very big, some very small. So just to avoid that, just to make sure that at least when you are feeding them, they all get to eat some, right? You sort them out so that at least once they are of the same size, they can all fight, right? If, the if, 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 if need be. Okay. So, so we actually sort them so that they don't cannibalize on each other. Okay. Right, and also to ensure that their growth is even. That's nice. Uh, so another question, looking at the tank, the whole setup, do they come with the filters when purchased or you do do no, separately? No, um, we had to add them, right. Uh, usually when when you're doing the purchase, um, you get the, the tarpaulin tanks, okay. right. So these are additional installations. Can you? Yes, you get the tanks its own purpose. Right, is to actually help us to uh, to run a system where you didn't have to change the water treatment. Because what it does is that it tries to take out uh, leftover food or any anything solid from the water. So it 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 makes the water uh, last longer. It, it reduces the pollution. And in addition, um, there's a there's there's a system there that pulls the water. So it's like a fountain, okay. right? So as the water goes up, it mixes with oxygen. So you end up increasing the oxygen content in the water. They need the oxygen to grow. They need oxygen to prevent infection out as well. Right? So we have all that in place so that at least uh, we can run a more efficient system compared to someone who is just running it without uh, the filters. I think we'll have a closer look at the filter so you guys can so as, as you made mention, you said you have people who help you. Yeah, that's right. Yes, yeah, so um, I have with me uh, the 
farm manager. Okay. Uh, it's in the person of uh, Fidel. Fidel? Yeah. Okay. So that's Fidel. So he does the day to day management? Yes. He's, he's, he's responsible for the day to day management of the farm. Uh, he's also assisted by uh, Nana. Okay. And uh, the boys. Uh, Danny. Oh, okay. So, so, so they are, they are, they are those who help with uh, running of, of the farm. As you said, you can start. Probably you might not have time to do everything yourself. Yeah, you can get people on board who can help you to make some of these things a success. Mm -hmm. you get it. So let, let's try and look at the other. No, we, we, we have we have a, a outlet in place. Um, okay. Because you, you have at a point you have to actually drain all the water. If you want to fix them for anything, yeah. you have to drain all the water. Right. You drain before you can uh, yeah, fix them. So we have outlets. The outlets are down there. Um, so maybe Dell may want to check talk that. to you. Okay. About the filtration system. Okay. So, Fidel, can you? Yes. Yeah, so, let, let me just come this way. Okay. Um, we have a machine in here. Okay. Put it on. So, it's supposed to even go higher than this. But because of this hole, holes, sometimes it comes off. They, they pull it off actually. Okay. Yeah. So when this go, goes up, it draws water uh, from the pond to this particular, the first barrel. Okay. okay. And we have some systems in place that uh, uh, separates the chaff, the feed. You know, they do everything here. They feed here, they put food here, all this yeah, stuff. They live their life in there. Yes. <laughs> so, um, when the hose actually, when the machine draws it in here, it actually sieves the chaps and brings the water here. Okay. We have the same system in place here. So, when it comes up this way, then it comes back, back into the, the water. water. So, it's like it draws dirty water. Then okay. it's the, so the same water, the same water. Oh, that's nice. Yes. So you don't really spend much, no, 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 as in no. like with the water. I always put in fresh water. Or well, sometimes the water is well, it's a water business, and you know, sometimes the water doesn't come like that's it's okay. supposed to. So like, how many times do you change the water if I may ask? Um, with our system in place, it can take about three or four days before, before you change. change. Wow. And, and usually what, what we've been doing is that we don't drop the entire 
stuff, right? Okay. Let's drop it a bit so that at least the, the solid stuff that remains that do not get to pass through the filtration system, right? But still down there, right? Get to leave the, 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 the pump. So when, when, when you open the outlet, right, those down there will just come, come out, out from the system before you do a top up. Okay. So the, the total system, how much does it cost to set up the uh, setup? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can do like a rough estimate. I like your your setup. I mean, you have a chair around. Um, I wish, unless, unless I, I, I swear, I just can't remember. But then, uh, you might have seen this, there's this tube, right? Yeah, tubes here. It's an actually aeration system, oh, yeah. which, 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 which introduces additional oxygen like air into the water. Into the water. Okay. Into the water. Because what happens is that as you and all those things, also settling down, if, you know, it pollutes the water. There's ammonia and all that. But then, when you have this cement, for instance, it just increases the, the oxygen content. Because once oxygen drops, one will not be active, will not be eating more the force. Right? And that will, will end up prolonging how long it takes you to do that. So, to avoid some of those things, we introduce the aeration system for instance, which keeps like blowing air into, into the water. And that makes them a bit more comfortable. It's actually helpful. Since we introduced it, we realized that it's really helpful. It's, uh, it's aided the growth as well. Compared to uh, when we we're running it without the system. Okay, so, so we tried to install that in the various ponds. Uh, Not all of them do, but we will install them. Yes. Like, I, don't know, I, I, I like I like the way it goes. So if you can look at feeding. If you can look at feeding. Feeding. Uh, how many times do you feed them? Oh, okay. Maybe Danny, uh, our, our, our intern. Oh, okay. okay <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So Danny, where are you? Oh, nice. So Danny, then how does the feeding every day? How many times do you feed them? Twice a day. Okay, and like, is it morning, evening, or afternoon, evening? Morning. And how many bags, like, let's say, they do you? You have to make an estimate within uh, a week or a month. A day, all the ones, a full bag. All of them is a full bag. Yeah. Yeah. No wonder they are big. <laughs> like, so do they consume that much? Like, do they eat a lot? Yes. So even if you put food right now, don't see it? We not feed them good, but sometimes the time, uh, like we normally feed them at 7, but because the sun is cutting, so like, I don't know how to say it. They won't come up to eat or how? No. They, they have ability and things. Like, they have a time of eating, so okay. if the time passes, they won't eat. Like they'll eat, but not that much. much like so, what when is the best time do you think you are supposed to feed them? Seven in the morning. Seven in the morning, yes. and in the evening too. Or? Six in the evening. Six in the evening. And once you do that, they are fine. So you don't have to feed them again. Thank you. And what feed? What type of feed do you use? Okay, so uh, it depends on uh, the stage. Uh, um, usually. Uh, we start them on a two mm, right? Feed them on that for a while, then move to another three, another three, all the way through. So, so depending on their stage, right? And the type of feed, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Because they all have different uh, compositions, just like the protein controls, right? Um, the protein is higher when they are younger. That is when they need it, just like human beings. Uh, the kind of things that like, uh, when they are younger uh, are usually different from what they do when as as you grow, right? 
So um, at the early stages, we get them to eat with very high protein content. And as they grow, there's the point that you can grow and they couldn't have much effect on them because they would have developed and they don't need that much protein to continue to get it. And it's interesting to state that cannibalism is not that high when they when 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 they grow. Okay. You, you, you get it. It's very high when they are very young. That's it's all because they need more protein. Nice. You, you get it. Yeah. Uh -huh. So as as they grow, the protein content in their feet drops, mm -hmm. right, to about thirty to uh, percent of uh, the feet that that they can do. Okay. And is that feeding? They are feeding you. Is it expensive? Very expensive. But I get uh, no matter. I get people. People ask me, so how much do they need to start? Look at the budget of the feed they are supposed to use. Oh, I've had a question. Someone asked me for a year if it's to feed them, how much will it cost to feed them? <laughs> you get to oh well, uh, yeah, you can actually calculate uh, how much you need you to spend, feed them. Like for a year, right? You know the number that you are stocking, like the number of uh, fingerlings that you are going to be starting with. Yeah. And depending, uh, based on that, you can actually calculate how much feed you are likely to spend, right? And they come in different prices. Usually, the those, feed. yes, the 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 the, the two mm, three mm, right? Those uh, of uh, smaller dimension are always more expensive, right? And as 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 you move up, it becomes less, right? But the truth of the matter is that look, the cost we incur in running the farm about 70 80 percent goes into feed. Wow, that means the yes. feeding is very expensive. Oh, very, very expensive. Very expensive. You get it. There are some that you could get around 140 per bag. And this is a 15 kg bag. And that will consume in a day, like the the <laughs> you. you get it. So, so wow. it's very expensive. And if and if you have to do this for like four to six months, you can imagine how much money it will go. So 150 CDs per kg, like 15 CD, uh, 15 kg. Well, there are some that you could have about 100 CDs per bag, but as usual, right, you may have different qualities. Okay. okay. You get it. A company may sell it 100, and another company may sell it 120, 140 for the same size, same grade of feet, but the quality might be different. Yes. So, being in the business for some time now, which one would you advise my viewers to? No, it's a different type of brand. It depends on what you want to achieve. Okay. Right. Um, from our experience, we've tried local, we've tried foreign food. Um, and also done a combination. Yeah. There's a time that we tried like foreign food. Sure. A time that we've tried a mix. Right. Some people advise that you start them on the foreign. So you get to a point where maybe you think, look, where they've gotten to, they can now move to something different. They can put them in the local. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But then that will also go into how long it takes them to hit the size that they are looking for. Because just are very big. Yes. So like they, they grew that big. You, you, you get it. Yeah. Yeah. Because I remember uh, one time we, when, when we were doing the foreign, my like pure foreign, realized that they actually grew faster. Than the local ones. That they we need the same uh, time, time, time span. Okay. You, you get it. Uh -huh. okay. But then the cost involved, the, the foreign, foreign as you guys, is more expensive because yeah, of the yeah, tax yeah. component and all those kind of uh, things. So it's more expensive. Right? So you have to actually wait. Do I want to grow them faster? Or, okay, let me do the, the usual thing, like what people do, do a combination or I just put them on, on, on local. So it's, it's the farmer's choice, right, to, to opt for any of these three options. Yeah. yeah. So um, let's, now the last thing I think we have to look at is the pricing. I see these ones are bigger. The ones here too are much bigger than I think this one. If you have to sell them, so you said this one is six months. Yes. So, and how much like, likely would they weigh? 
looking at the side. Oh, uh, the one that fighting like how, how, on the side. Many, like. I think how many days was it when, when we did the weighing? Yeah. What is you it? Get to test. The sound that would win like three point four. Uh, four. Yeah, I think the, the one the the one I was I was showing on, on the phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'll, I'll put a picture so you guys can see the because three point four kg. Yeah. It was very huge, very huge. So like mostly if you are wearing them, what timeline would you give those? To you? At this time, they are easy for them for you to sell them. What is it like? Lifespan, we see when they get to this point, they are good to be sold. Okay, well, Average. um, from four months, uh, you are good to go. Um, the truth is that it isn't that they will all be much, uh, they would have matured for them four point, months. Yeah. You get it. You can start selling when when it, when it hits four months because then some of that hits like one kg, one point two kg, right? Could have to be some hitting one point five. You yeah. get it. Uh, and you have some lower than even one kg. So that means that you have to like keep feeding them, feeding them the wall, so at least they can also pick up. Yeah. But there are some that look, <laughs> maybe you can even feed them for a year or a year. Still, still the same. That, that will never hit one kg. <laughs> and, 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 it's, and it's normal. I'll, I'll say it's normal because even really, human beings. Yeah, they will right? eat a lot uh -huh, of stuff. Their size yeah, is it, 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 it will never uh, show. That look the the taking good stuff. So it's, it's the same thing. So then from four months. Let's wrap up the bit. So in the, let's look at in the next. Uh, how do you see the business going? What is the future plan for the next Possibly start building yourself. Or you add value to them. Or how oh, you know, them? Um, the truth is that um, you don't really get much uh, from by selling them in the raw state, as 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 you see them. Like just catching them and selling. Um, as usual, you get more when you add value to it. So what we've started doing is to smoke and sell. So we we'll even go and show you some of what we've smoked uh, so far. Uh, we are in the process of also setting up uh, an eatery. Okay. So I uh, do a point and kill. I think yeah, those joints are popping up as well. Yes. Yes. Do, do a point and kill. And I can bet you that it will be one of the best because it's from our farm straight to. So we are not going to feed them or handle them in a way that by the time you are done drilling, you would have lost so much value. Uh, you get it. So, so that's, that's, that's something that, that, that we're looking at. And also, plant. Okay. You get it. And I can tell you that, look, even as you spoke to one of uh, my. my, my uh, yes. Yeah. You get it. Look, he can actually take you to the whole uh, farming practice here. All the things that we do. He's been involved in it. He knows it. I, there are times that <laughs> myself and Fidel probably we are out of Accra. Yeah, and, and he handles, handles the it. farm. <laughs> you, you get it. You see to changing their water or doing the flow through for them. Feeding them. If they, they need to feed them. He knows how to do their things. We use this, it's not only uh, we uh, plants that, but this one of the things that we use to fix them. To when, they, when they are infected? Yes, or even, you don't even wait for them to be infected, right? Okay. You prevent it. So there are regular times you do that. You get it. So you make sure that, look, okay, if, it's, if, if, if for this pond, depending on their size or their growth uh, stage, if you treat them twice a week or you treat them once a week or something, just want to prevent the, the sure infection, yes, yeah. yeah. and also mortality. Because they, they have to be very strong and eat very well so that they can grow and for you to also get what, what it is that, that, that you, you, you're looking at uh, achieving. So, he can handle it, uh, same as uh, Nana. I think Nana brought samples of their smooth ones. Yes, I thought we were going to bring the basket. Huh? So you do the in-house smoke. I know in Ghana mostly we like the smoked ones yes. than the compared to the more like meat for soup. Yes. Hello. But how is the market for the smoked ones? Uh, we just started that. 
but we have people to, ready to, to take them. This, this, this we actually brought them yesterday. We took them uh, for smoking and they brought them yesterday. So uh, this afternoon to take them to the market. For, for them to, to do their salary. And it's added value, the price is more than... Definitely, definitely. Yeah. So basically, if you also want to start the whole thing, I will, will advise, aside they wearing it, they should also try and add value to it. So that's right. That's when you build the price of it. That's, that's, that's true. Because you get the demand, people asking, their price, they don't get prices for it, the market is low and stuff. Mm. Or people come and buy it for cheaper cost and sell a higher price. That's right. But I have to add a bit of value to it, I think. It just, it just do the processing as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, um, uh, I think we'll do it and here. We'll later, uh, at least have a bit more detailed discussion. Okay. So, if there's anything you'd like to uh, uh, inform my viewers about, you can, you can just let them know. Yes. Okay, well, uh, in short, I'll say this this has been a very uh, profitable uh, venture. Um, like I keep saying, training is very important. Uh, don't try to dodge that before you go into capture of this sort. To actually go a very long way to save your capture and make sure that you remain viable in what, what it is that, 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 that you do. Um, I also include Recognize uh, as 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 we go along. Um, very soon we we'll see adverts um, and also other things uh, have have the E3. Um, you can actually reach us uh, for inquiry or whatever assistance that you need. Uh, you can reach us on 020 40 68204 and uh, we'll offer assistance as, as needed. Okay. Yeah, expect, we are expecting more calls because that's me. Those in demand, someone to buy, someone to start, yeah, someone to, yes, so at least you, please assure them you, you, you can help them. Oh yeah. Because I, I get a lot of calls, yes. trust me, even the first cash flow video I did. My viewers, most of them do join my channel, I can send the cash Okay. So for calls, you get calls on the regular. People will be asking questions and all about the whole thing, how to go about it. So yeah, if, I assure them that when they come, you'll be able to be of assistance to them. Oh yeah, definitely, to definitely. Uh, we always have level to offer whatever assistance that, that, that anyone will need. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. So I think I will end, we will end here. Um, at least today, what we looked at was the farm annoying practices of catfish, looking at Mr. Ivanov's uh, farm, what he does, the whole, how he goes about it, and the whole lot. As you can see, you see the smoke, Catfish as well, that you can also try and add value as part of the you normal know, aside the rearing it normally. You can also add value to it so it boosts the price, you get more markets. So, yeah, this draws the catchings of the video. As I always say, kindly hit the red button to subscribe, put on the notification button to get a regular update as I when I drop a new video. And please drop a like on the video so it promotes it. We get more people to learn or to get some of this information on how to also start catfish and also yeah, get involved into the business. So, see you in the next video. Bye.